Hello, I am Tom Morello. I am the Night Watchman, and this is The Night Watchman Speaks, a uh, weekly episode where you submit questions to nightwatchmanmusic.com about pretty much anything, and I do my best to answer them as honestly as I see fit. Uh, question number one today is, what is your favorite Soundgarden song? Mm. I'm a big fan of Soundgarden, and uh, Soundgarden was formative for me. Well, Soundgarden, along with Jane's Addiction, were really the bands that... Uh, helped build a bridge for me between hard rock music and what became known as alternative music. I'd say that my, f I used to jam out to Soundgarden pretty loud and proud in the lockup van when we were touring the country and some of the other guys didn't like it. But, uh, and then later I was in a band with Chris Cornell, so things worked out spectacularly. My favorite Soundgarden song would be a song called Loud Love, which is a jam. And, uh, we in Audio Slave had the great fortune to play that song uh, a number of times with Chris during, when we were doing some Soundgarden songs in the set, so that's my song. Listen to it if you're not familiar with it, Loud Love. It is a jam. Question number two. Uh, Hi Tom, the spiritual and intellectual dividends of getting a degree in political science have made such a significant impact in my life, and yet most of my friends and family don't understand this passion. What inspired you to study political science, and what impact did it have on your personal and or professional level? P.S. The Night Watchman was the act I was most excited to see at Outside Lands. Thanks for a great show. Well, thank you. Um, what inspired me? Uh, what inspired me to study politics? I've always had an interest in activism and politics and world changing. But what inspired me to specifically, explicitly to study political science at Harvard was that they Harvard did not have my first choice in a college major, which was zoology. I wanted to be a zoologist. And Harvard did not have a zoology major, and I wanted to go like study hippos in the wild, and uh, so then political science was my second choice. Actually, at Harvard, it's called social studies because Harvard can't have anything as mundane as political science, but uh, it covers things like political science. Um, and as that, like I said, because I was involved in both music and activism, I wanted to s practice the music and study politics. Next question. Tom, I've noticed that on your black Fender Telecaster that you use to play songs in drop D, there's a sticker that says, Go Home. Honestly, we hate you. <laughs> Where did this sticker come from, and why is it on your guitar? The sticker came from a, uh, it's a, it's a book I have at home about Kenyan history, and it's a photograph from the Mau Mau era, and it's a picture of Kenyans who support the Mau Mau with a sign that says, Go home, honestly, we hate you, to the British colonizers who were driving by in their cars. And I thought it was a very amusing photograph and one that I put on my guitar. I do not hate you and I do not want you to go home. Unless you want to go home, but there's nothing for me that's saying to do that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, it has to do with my, my father's, of course, Kenyan, and my family was involved in Kenya's independence struggle. That is why I was reading that book to begin with, and uh, that's why the sticker's on my guitar. Next question. Hello, Tom. According to various sources on the internet, uh-oh, whenever a question starts with that, brace yourself. What's, what's it going to say? According to various sources on the internet, you received a bachelor's in political science from Harvard in the early 1980s, 1986, actually. If this is true, I was curious if you ever went back to school to pursue a master's degree. Also, do you feel having college education is necessary in today's society? As always, thanks for the music. Well, I have no interest in pursuing a master's degree. While I did do pretty well in school and uh, pretty well at Harvard, I always kind of hated school. Like, from the time I was a kid, it was like it was, it felt like being shackled, like having manacles on, like, I got things I want to do and think and be and go, and I got to be there at eight in the morning in States. It always felt like an imposition on my precious time. Uh, so when I was liberated from college at, uh, you know, as a senior, I had no desire to go back into the world of academia. I still read pretty extensively and love to continue learning, but the structured, um, responsibility of, of school is not something that I intend to return to. Uh, is it necessary in today's society? Well, I mean, I'm really not one to ask. I've got a Harvard degree and I play rock and roll music. And when I moved to Los Angeles, tried to sell Iron Man t-shirts and worked as an exotic dancer. So I really didn't make the best use of my degree, some might say. Thank you very much for uh, your thoughtful questions. This has been the Night Watchman Speaks. You go to nightwatchmusic.com. 
and submit your questions for future episodes, and I look forward to reading them and answering them. Have a lovely day. Adios, people.